Okay, so we are live now. <laughs> Thank you for coming on here with me, Martina. Everyone, this is Martina Kalos of, uh, in Croatia. It is 8 p.m. over there, right? Yeah, it's 8 p.m. It's late. Yeah. So we were able to get this um, all coordinated and everything with her, which I'm so happy. And I'm so happy and excited that you could interview with us today. And we can talk to you. Martina, I just want to start out really quick, just kind of getting to know you um, as a person. Um, what got you into doing lashes? I know you started quite a few years ago, like five years ago? Um, seven years ago. I think. Seven years, okay. Yeah. Um, well, to be honest, I got into lash business because um, my hairstylist, he told me, um, uh, she was doing her lashes and she said, well, Martina, could you learn this? Because I'm just too lazy to go to this girl to the other part of the town. So, right. you know, let's just try it. But right. that was the beginning completely unplanned. Mm -hmm. And it right. just, can you hear me? You know, yeah, I can hear okay. you. Okay. I had to put on my, my headphones so that I could hear you just a little bit more clearly, um, which yeah. is my, my connection. Um, but no oh, wow, that is amazing. Okay. And so then you started, uh, who did you learn lashes from? Well, we had back then, we had only one. Oh, so let me just turn the sound of this. Okay. Yes, you're fine. Uh, we had back then, we had only, I think, probably one or two educators in the country. And okay. one of them was my, my friend. And I just went to her. You know, the, the, the education was, you know, we didn't know any better. We just had what we had. And yeah. I, I finished the first course with her. And then after that, all of them, I went abroad. I went to England. I went to Italy, uh, to different educators who are, you know, world, world known um, even, even today. And yeah. it just started, you know, growing one thing at a time from lash artist to an educator to building yeah. an academy to my own brand to, you know, having my Everything. own educators in different countries right now. Yeah, that is amazing. That is so great. I mean, we have been following you for quite a while, my mom and I, um, Marisol. Mm -hmm. and so we we follow you. We've we've seen you in the last few years growing and getting bigger. And we're like, oh, my gosh, my mom absolutely loves you. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, so we're really, really cool. And you do beautiful lashes, so we're really excited about that. Oh, we have some viewers right now. I don't I don't think you can see on your end, but I can see people when we're doing this live, what happens is our people who are watching this on live on Facebook can comment and, and ask us questions and leave their remarks. And for some reason, sorry everybody, but um it doesn't show me your name. It just says Facebook user. So please when you say a comment, like say comma and then give me your first name because I don't know. Someone said, hi, Martina. See you in Chile. Oh, whoever it is. Yeah. I'll see you in Chile <laughs> quite soon. Yeah. Yeah. So why? So you're going to the conference in Chile. Yeah. In December, we have a conference in Chile. Um, my very good friend is organizing it. So we're going there just to support it because it's the first big conference in Chile. Right. Right. And I know there's one coming up here, I believe, uh, in Argentina next year as well in a no march or april shoot no it's in march uh yeah um, i'm not going to that one because i'm going to mexico yeah we're going to be in mexico too oh that's cool <laughs> yeah so we'll see you i guess in mexico this is so cool it's such a small world <laughs> yeah actually it is such a small world it is and i notice a lot of people like once you start meeting everybody in the lash community you know all these I mean, amazing, amazing uh, lash artists, big name brands. I mean, it just, you just kind of, it's small. <laughs> you realize, yeah. wow, everyone knows everybody, which yeah. is really cool. Yeah. Okay. Well, I just want to let everyone know today I invited Martina to talk really quick. We're not going to take too much time, maybe 30 minutes or so. She wants to talk to you guys about lash retention, correct? Like who's yeah. guilty? Is it the lash artist or the stylist, right? Right. Or both, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> we, we all want to believe that it's a uh, client's fault. And it's usually our excuse when something goes wrong. Um, yep. But unfortunately, I have to, you know, bring it out. Most of the time, it's Lash Artist's fault. Most of the time, it's our fault because we are actually doing something 
wrong during the treatment, before the treatment, um, um, wrong use of material, but most of the time it actually is our fault. Right, and so I'm gonna give you an example. So the most common thing that we hear a lot is like right after within a day or two, hey, my lashes have fallen off, like what's going on? What would you say to that? A lot of lash artists, like you say, say, oh no, you're sleeping on the wrong side or something's going on. What would you say? Yeah, that's that's everybody use that line probably yeah. you know once in their lifetime, but um, well, it's not that. Uh, if I have when my students ask me that, so I there's a list of possible um, causes that could have done that. So first of all, you need to uh, be sure that your preparation is perfect, that your la that your lashes are perfectly clean. And that means you should clean them actually only with foam and water. With no what? Foam and water. Foam and water. Okay. That's it. The more simple we do the, the procedure, the uh, better results we will actually get. So right. try to keep, um, try to, to use less products and to keep the lash completely clean. So that's the first thing. The second thing is actually, did you check uh, what kind of lashes your client have? Has is it? Do they are they thin? Are they really strong and thick? And does your glue actually match the lashes that you have in front of you? Right. Because sometimes when clients' lashes are really really thin and and weak, we cannot use really thick glue because we can cause for the lashes just to stick too much. Right. We use a really liquid and thin glue on the clients that have really strong lashes. Uh, it can happen that we are using too little that because the, the lash actually sucks in most of the, most of the glue and it doesn't leave um, really sticky, enough stickiness on the surface to be able right. to bond and to last for three weeks. Right. So most of the time uh, we get to the conclusion that lash artists are using actually too little of the glue, mm -hmm. that they are not recognizing the conditions in the area they're working in, working in. Right, and everyone's a little bit different. I mean, regardless, I know I hear this all the time, and we, I just had a conversation with Trish um, in Canada, and she was we were talking a little bit about adhesives and environments, and it really a little bit depends on your outside environment, but it's all really about what's inside of your studio. Um, yeah. Like, how are you regulating that, right? Exactly. So it could be temperature, it could be humidity, it could be pH, it could be different um, different conditions, but at the end of everything, you need to understand how your material actually works and what mm -hmm. you have in front of you to be able to produce the maximum results. Right. Um, and the biggest mistake that I see on forums and groups, uh, when lash artists, they ask like, Oh, can you recommend me the best glue? My glue is not good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. That, that's the, that's the top question, number one. Yeah, for sure. And then, you know, then a girl from the other part of the world tells her, oh, this is the best glue for me. And she maybe lives in, you know, she maybe lives in some tropical part. And this girl is from Russia where it's really cold and it's dry. And yeah. everywhere is dry. Yeah. So those two, those two lash artists, they need, they could work with the same glue, actually but they should work in two different ways. So right. one of them um, uh, would need to use probably much more glue than the other one because it would uh, dry much slower than in the other conditions. Exactly. So I think that the girls, most of the time, they don't recognize what they need to do. And one more thing, it's not the same if you do the lashes. You know, some people, they grab the lash, they isolate, and then put the lash. Okay. So it takes, you know, they grabbed it already, so the glue is slowly drying, drying, right, while right. you're isolating and going to the lash. So for you, much better would be to use 
slower glue. Exactly. Yeah, and exactly. That's the way you're going to be lashing if you don't want to change your technique. Yeah. And other girls, they isolate and then they take the glue, they take the lash, go into the glue and put it on immediately. So for them, fast drying glue is the perfect solution. But, you know, if they switch the glues and leave the same technique, it will actually lead to bad results. Right. I love it. I love that. Okay. And uh, what other, I guess, um, I guess issues that you see a lot that happens um, with lash artists and, and they, about retention, because I hear a lot of it is just, yeah, you know, there's so many excuses. There's so many there, excuses. Are, there are thousands of excuses and um, it could be, you know, oh, you're sleeping on that side or you're wearing too much makeup or you're putting the eyeliner or you didn't, you know, you're, you have really oily skin. Yeah, those could be, you know, reasons. But to be, to be honest, most of the glues, 99% of the glues that we actually use today, they are quite advanced. And most of them, most of them are actually resistant to oils. And um, sometimes we even recommend to our clients to put uh, coconut oil to... Um, you know, when their lashes are a little bit damaged and when they want right, to hydrate. Yeah. So we recommend them using coconut oil with the extensions and it doesn't affect retention at all because they are washing their lashes every morning. Right. And I saw one, I think it was uh, Loretta, I think, who just did a post on that on Instagram and she, uh, she had done an experiment, I believe it was, but she put some lashes with glue on an actual hair in oil for and left it there for a month. Yeah, yeah, because this yeah. is what we practiced for quite a long time for the for the clients with damaged lashes, uh, because they just want something extra on their lashes, or you know, they experienced some bad treatments before, but they don't want to give up from extensions, right. and we never had any problems. So okay. the, the oils and Greasy, greasiness is not that much of a problem. The biggest problem is actually bad hygiene. Okay. Wow. What, what do you mean about that? Uh, what is it? Okay. I'm going to, I'm mainly asking you questions because I want like the, the person who's all super knowledgeable about this. So what do you mean about bad hygiene? Is it just not cleaning their lashes every day? Well, yeah, basically that, that is, that's that because uh, there are still lash artists. There are, uh, telling their clients not to wash the lashes, um, mm -hmm. not to touch them, just, you know, go around the eyes just a little bit. Um, right. When somebody tells me that, my next question is, how would your hair look like if you would not wash it with your shampoo for three weeks? If you just right. put a little bit of water around it, it would be dirty, greasy, smelly, stinky, you know, right. really bad. Right. So, the the most important thing is to teach your clients to get the foam and to use it every night. Even sometimes if their skin is really greasy and oily, use it also in the morning. It right. will not affect, uh, it will not uh, cause for lashes to fall off. Actually, it will help the lashes to stay longer. The, the cleaner they are, the more we use the water and actually wash them, they will last longer. Okay, perfect. And just one, uh, one example that I have, um, when I was working with, with clients, I had few, you know, TV hosts, people that are actually under heavy makeup every day. But mm -hmm. they, they loved extensions and they didn't want to, didn't want to, you know, give up from that. Um, I never had any issues with them because... Mm -hmm. Every night, they would actually clean all the makeup, all the liner. They would, you know, brush it really good. And every three weeks, they would come for an infill with probably 40 to 50% of lashes. Nice. So okay. Makeup, makeup is not a problem. And this is what I've changed before when I was younger, young in the lash industry. Uh, I was always telling to the clients, like, don't, don't wear makeup, don't wear mascara. It will ruin your lashes. Yes. Um, uh -huh. but there are some people that just love mascara. And 
It's yes. their choice. It's their style. And I realized that if they, they can wear makeup as long as they want, just they need to wash the lashes at night. And we don't have any problems. Okay, perfect. I love that. Yeah, we actually noticed. I'm going to um, go back kind of to what you were saying a little bit before on, um, on preparation. Um, it happens to us all the time when we, I mean, we've had our studios for seven years. Um, and so every time we get uh, someone new and we have to train them or even during our trainings and they always, you know, it always happens. It never fails. Um, they're not puting enough glue um, adhesive because we are in very dry weather. We're in Arizona. It's very dry and and hot, and so yeah. um, we, we notice that they're doing two things either wrong. It's either they're not washing properly, they're not washing them enough at the beginning, um, and then two is they're not putting enough adhesive on the lash itself to make sure they get a good bond because they get scared. You know, we, we you know during training they hear don't put too much adhesive. You know whatever, yeah. but. They yeah. need to find that balance of what is too much, what is not enough. Yeah. So and I completely, completely agree with you. And that takes time. That that takes a little bit of experience and uh, even, you know, changing different brands of glues just to find the consistency and the amount that actually works the best for you. Exactly. I love that. And I love that you said that because you're right. Everywhere on forums, everywhere, Instagram, Facebook forums, yeah. everyone's like, which which glue is the best? It's like... There is no one that is the best. Yeah. And, some, yeah. and, you know, we have different kinds. I mean, even in in our same environment, the girls, they have at least three or four different adhesives because depending on what's happening in our environment or maybe, I don't know, something, in you know, happening that day, one adhesive is not the one that they want to use. Yeah. They want to use a different one. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, you, you come to the studio in the morning and the first client, um, you open the glue and it works perfectly. And then next client and next client and the glue becomes just more, it becomes slower and slower. And probably in the afternoon, you just go crazy and you need to switch the glue because nothing is working. Yep. You didn't change it's anything. The, you are in the same place. Right. Right. Yeah. No, I totally feel you. I, I totally get that. Um, so what would you say, what would you, t extra advice or tips that you would tell our lash artists um, who are viewing right now on besides obviously the washing and enough um, adhesive, what are other things that they can do to help with retention issues that they're having with clients? So make sure you're using more glue than you think it's enough. Okay. And make sure you get a, a slight pressure on the lash. This is also one thing that lash artists don't do. They just, you know, put the lash on the lash. And right. they don't make the pressure. Sometimes we need to, you know, push that glue to make the glue go outside and wrap around the lash to get right. the air out of the, the space between them to get the perfect bond. Perfect. I love that because that's not ever really talked about is, you know, yeah. your... The pressure, yeah. your bonding of, yeah, yeah the connection that you're going to get with the lash and the extension. These are, these are such a small, small, tiny tips, but they mm -hmm. actually can change your, your complete results and they can change complete, you know, view of, of the lash and of the, they can change your attention. Um, just, you know, to, to try a little bit something different. Okay, cool. Oh my gosh, that's that's amazing. I love it. Um, and you're completely right. It's those small little things um, that can really help. Uh, I do see we hit our, we're having some comments here. Okay, so the person who said, um, I'll see you in Chile was Olga. Oh, um, Olga. Olga. <laughs> yeah, Villarreal. Our translator. She always translates everything. Yeah. Yeah, she's amazing. She's so great. I know we're going to see her in Cancun, so we're excited. Um, and we just saw her a few weeks ago, so it's really, really cool. Yeah, she's she's hungry for knowledge. She's oh, one yeah. Of those, she's one of those people that likes to be on each course, on each conference, everywhere. And that's mm -hmm. so amazing because she's also an amazing lash artist, but yeah. she's, not, she's uh, not ashamed to, to say that she wants to learn more. And this is something what 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 should be normal in the industry between educators, you know, trainers, lash artists, 
From each person, you can learn something new. Doesn't matter if you're experienced or not experienced, because I have seen that on each course I have, especially when I have advanced classes, I actually learn so much small tricks from my students that we actually help each other. Yeah, I love that. You're right. And you know what? They're, like Knowledge is it never stops. And so I love that you, I mean, you're so great about it. I love that you're not one of those people who are like, I am bomb.com and you Aww. have to listen to me because I know everything. I mean, you are pr pretty much the bomb.com, but um, it's, you're you know. willing to learn. Well, because that should be normal. Nobody knows everything and there's no point. And the more you, the more things you share with people, actually the people will want to go back to you again. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Experience. Exactly. I to I've been I've been saying that for years. That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Um, I will see. Actually, we have another person who just posted. It says, "My favorite, Martina." Oh, and Lulu. Oh, well, thank you. I don't know who said that, but thank you. <laughs> well, it's nice. Whoever it is, it's nice. Thank you. It is nice. Um. So other people want to know, when is your next conference? See, so I think that was Olga. She said, I, I'll see you soon, but when is your next conference? In my organization? Yes. Um, all right. So this is uh, something that I've been postponing, you know, for quite a few weeks now because my con my I started organizing a competition. So this was the, the thing I did the first and first year we had a competition. Second year there was a competition and a conference. Um, third year there was a competition. It's usually at the end of the March. So okay. I should be starting promoting and, you know, advertising. But at the moment I am so, you know, overloaded. And I'm just... Uh, I'm really thinking not to do it next year because oh, no. it's so much work and you know it. Right. Oh yeah. Organizing an event, it's, it's not making money. Um, oh, no, not at all. It's doing something, um, you know, I love organizing stuff. I'm the organizer of everything. So for yeah. me, it's really a pleasure to get a really big event and to get all the girls in there and to make everyone feel great and to have a great experience, to give them awards and to get them, you know, feel appreciated. And of course, every, everyone's happy when they get, you know, when they win some place. So it's a really, really uh, huge responsibility. It takes a lot of work. So I'm still actually thinking, should I do it again next year or should I skip it and do it the year after? Because I'm um, at this moment, we are changing our premises. We are um, moving soon to a bigger place. So there is a lot of work, and you know, as, oh yeah, that's amazing. As, uh, all lash artists have the same story. We are just sometimes feeling burned out. Yeah, because it usually happens around that seven-year mark. <laughs> yeah. You know, sometimes it gets too much of everything and then you have to decide what you need to let go and what you need to put on a standby and just finish the things that you started um, not to, you know, get yourself right. to the position of burning out. Right. And then you want to also decide kind of what direction you want your your lash business to go in, um, I'm sure. And then you're a, you're a mom. You were just telling me earlier that you were taking your kids to birthday parties today. Yeah, so today was my day off, and I feel so tired right now that I, I, I don't feel this tired when I work the whole day. Sometimes <laughs> I need to go to work to get some rest. And yeah. for, for all those girls that are, you know, uh, at-home moms, I, I'm i just like, I, I wouldn't yeah. be able to do it. Yeah, um, no, I feel you. How many kids do you have? I have two kids. Too. And they are six and eight. So this year they are both in school. So it's just driving, running everywhere, left, right, training, school. So yeah, fun. it's a fun life. Yeah. yeah, I totally, I get it. I have four and my oldest is 
14 and my youngest, they're twins. They're six. So, God. yeah. <laughs> it's Respect. hard. I know. So, That's all I have to say. Yeah. Well, you too. I mean, I, I, totally, we're, I totally understand where you're coming from. And for all those other lash artists out there who are, you know, working their butt off, trying to make ends meet, trying to figure out how to lash right to make that ends meet. You know, Martina just had gave you some amazing, amazing tips on how to help retain your lashes for your clients so that, you know, you don't get those callbacks for my lashes are falling out. It's only been one day and, or two yeah. days. So this is definitely something for, for all of us here, even if you're not a mom, you know, if you just want to keep advancing, it's, it's really, really amazing. So I, I thank you so much for coming on here, Martina. Um, is there anything else you would like to add or anything else our viewers would like to, to ask? We can ask, ask, answer questions now. Yeah, if everyone if anyone has a question, I'm I would be happy to answer. Um, yeah. I hope that there will be a lot of girls on the conference uh, because conferences are such a great way to um, get something new, to talk to the to different people from you know different parts of the world, the the best people in the industry, mm -hmm. to grow your you know to to connect with colleagues. Uh, for me, conferences opened so many doors to my yeah. business and they allowed me to, you know, to grow and to develop and to develop to, to come to this stage that I never expected that I would actually be. Yeah. And you did this all, I mean, in a span of around seven years, you said. So it's like, it, it sounds like a lot, but it really isn't. It goes by so fast. And so the, what an accomplishment. It goes awesome. so fast. So I started as a lash artist and then it just, uh, the first conference I was invited to, you know, I met different, different educators, different organizers of other conferences and they started inviting me here and there, um, starting getting more and more students, students from all over the world. Uh, it opened so many business opportunities to, uh, expand the brand to get distributors to to get the academies out there um it's quite amazing what and actually what what you can do just by being open to people and not being not being afraid to you know tell them what you think or to help whenever somebody needs help right right that's i love that that's great um yeah we're excited too i know and we're excited to have you at our conference uh, so people who are watching we're um, I'm throwing a, a big conference here in Scottsdale, Arizona, in the USA, and we've asked Martina to be a speaker. So if you're just joining in or if you don't know, Martina here is one of our amazing speakers. And so she's going to be talking to you guys. Um, her talk is going to be great. I, have, I don't think we've landed on a topic, have we? Yeah. We Am I talking about the extreme curls? Oh, is that what it was? Okay. I have to go back and look at my notes. So. I think I am. Because this is okay. quite quite the hot topic in Europe right now, and I think it it is also in in the in the US mm -hmm. using uh, different uh, a little bit of a little bit different curls that we usually do, and what effects we can get with that, and that we actually we can actually grow our clientele by using something different. Perfect. Yeah. So styling. So you're gonna be talking. Okay. Perfect. So guys, if you didn't hear that, you heard it from herself. She's going to be talking about different curls and styling, and I guess you're going to probably involve a little bit of mapping on that. Yeah, there will be, you know, the L, M, and LC curls are the top three most popular curls right now in Europe. And yeah, well, everybody yeah. is talking about it. So, uh, and there is also a lot of flash artists that are actually afraid to use it. So, Which one? The extreme curls. There are a lot of people that are just afraid to use it because they think, you know, they don't know what they what can they give you. So right. I just want to help a little bit to get to to show them what variety of of sets they can actually do with those sets. Yeah. And people. Yeah, exactly. And I love that. And you know, right now in the U.S., it's very popular doing like the strip lash messy look, yeah. like the messy strip lash spiky, you know. Um, like the Kim Kardashian look. So that's really popular right now with us and using like the, the basic D curl and CC curl um, and things like that. So we, I, I'm sure all the girls at the conference, everyone is going to love to hear about the extreme curls that 
you have to talk about it. Yeah, because if you were in Europe, maybe two or three years ago, um, everybody would tell you, we all just love the perfect line. It has to be clean. It has to be neat. Oh, um, Russian, right? When we saw the Kardashian style, it was like, no, 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 we will not do this. <laughs> so everything changed. Everything is yes. changing. You know, trends are changing and we need yeah. to also change as quickly as they go. Exactly. Exactly. Because like you said, like this is, it's, it's, this is an art form. There is no right or wrong. I mean, there is slightly a right and wrong, right? But like in regards to styling, there's no right or wrong. As long as your client is happy with how they look. And that's, that's the point. That's yeah, what they're exactly. paying us for. Exactly. Them- I love it. Yeah. Exactly. I love it. <laughs> Can I just say, um, so um, I wrote a, a book last year or two years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, it's more of an advanced manual, but it's okay. not a classic manual because whenever you go to a course, you get a manual that's loaded with pictures, not too many, you know, actually uh, describing some products or some uh-huh. things. I wrote a manual that's mainly theory, okay. introduction to material, uh, introduction to classic lashes, to volume lashes, to lash lift, to competition, to marketing. And um, it's been translated to a few languages right now. And I will have it available on the conference for a few girls that would like to, you know, maybe Perfect. get it. What is it called? I, I think you said something from A to Z. Lash extensions from A to Z? My lash extensions from A to Z. Okay. Um, so it's, it's quite basic. But if you don't know these things, you cannot be advanced. That's the okay. stuff. Yeah. Okay. So if somebody is interested, uh, I will be happy to, you know, give some books away. And also there is a PDF that is available online for the people that are not, you know. Uh, oh, okay. So like, yeah, I would, I'm going to post that on. I'll, I'll let everyone know about that um, on the, on all our feeds. Um, so on, if they go to your website and want to download that, how much is that for them to, to buy? Usually it's 50 euros. But we, for the attendees of your conference, we will have some special discounts. So okay. whoever will be on the conference, they will get a special code and they can get a really nice discount to get the book Ooh. for themselves. Yeah. Wow. Well, thank you. Oh, my gosh. That's going to be so exciting to let everyone know that and people who are watching. That's awesome. Cool. Well, you guys have it. You guys see it right here. Her book is called Eyelash Extensions from A to Z. You guys can go to your her website and check her out or her Instagram. Um, it's Kai. Can you give me the, the website? Uh, the website is www.carlosprolashcollection.com. Perfect. Okay. And I will also post that in the link here on the description so you guys can go see that. And I'll also link her to uh, her Instagram page and you guys can check her out. I know you guys just did a training. I love seeing your pictures and all the girls holding up their cute little certificates. And yeah, it's awesome. That's important for the students to have a nice positive start, you know, to exactly. have a nice push in the back and to start working because uh, all we were all beginners and um, it's hard at the beginning and we all actually suck at the beginning so you know we need somebody to tell us it will be better it will get better you just yeah you need we need to practice keep going exactly i love it well thank you so much everyone you heard it from herself martina kalos and she's in croatia right now we're it's already 8 37 so i'm sure she needs to get her little babies to bed no um, actually i need to get my, my older kid to a training right now oh so okay well, yeah <laughs> Well, then we will let you go. And thank you so much. And we will be talking to you soon. And thank you for uh, interviewing with me today, Martina. Thank you for inviting me. And big kiss to all the girls. And I hope to see so many new faces on the conference. So don't be afraid to register. Exactly. Perfect. Thank you. We'll we'll see you later, hon. Bye. Bye.